Um, back to this one. I presented this uh, last time, so this was image zoom again, where you, where you can have um, you can hover over that image and you can zoom in and zoom out. And um, the Matthias from Switzerland, um, he suggested, well, can't you make that like an X-ray content? We can um, have two different images, so you don't have a zoom in or zoom out effect. But if you hover over something, you will see like the image behind the image. And um, yes, you can. Now, here it is. Um, I call it X-ray, obviously. And um, well, we can see it here. So this is an image that I've used before for um, image juxtaposition, where it's kind of similar. We can have two images and uh, swipe left and right and see the one image and see the other image. And uh, here now you now have like an X-ray effect. And it's basically the same code it had. And, 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 uh, took me three hours or so to, to add. Um, I now had to add um, uh, touch controls for mobile devices because for image zoom we didn't have those deliberately, but now here we needed. I had to add those and um, yeah, add the option to add two images, but obviously you now can. Um, so here's that's the original image of that galaxy, and this is an infrared image which is kind of now behind. And um, yeah, you can see you can hover over that and you can see the X ray image. Um, well, you have all the features that you have um, for image zoom. So let's just have a look at that. What what, what you can um, tweak, what what options you can set. So I can just go to uh, the back end here, and I can create some new HIV content. You know that that is um, WordPress, but it it's the same everywhere. So here at the top we have X ray. I'm not sure if that icon will stay. I'm not <laughs> a good artist, but that is my preliminary. Um, icon for x-ray so uh, if we click on that of course again always I always forget but we also have to give it some title let's say test x-ray that is our title and then of course we have to add two images um, yeah uh, I don't know if he's here is Yasin here maybe uh, no he's not um, he has seen it already and he suggested that this should be put into groups maybe so you can um, collapse those and I'm not sure if I should do it because um, you, you have to enter those image. You have to add the images, otherwise it doesn't work. So, I'm not sure why you would collapse them. I, I'm not sure, but this is a UX question. I'm not a UX expert, and somebody from Ubel will tell me that. Um, so but now add. Let's add our two images. So first of all, uh, I guess which one is it? Uh, up, up. Image use in the background. It doesn't have a label here, but that's an H5P issue. I can't add one label. So uh, background images. Um, I put it here already. So let's use the infrared image for the background. Whoop, there it is. Of course, you would have to. This is not a good, good alternate. No, infra, infrared. Not a good alternative title, but um, yeah, one should have one. Uh, let's have the regular image. And let's call it regular. So now we have our two images. Now we can decide um, how they should be displayed. So first of all, um, should they be full width or maybe, you know, HFE always scales up everything to full width and maybe you don't have control over your host system. So let's say we want to just have it at 75%. And centering is okay. We could choose left line or right line, but let's say 75% centered, that's the way we want to have it. And maybe we'd say, okay, this default size, oh, let's make it really huge. So maybe let's say we need, I don't know, let's, let's make it really huge. So 50%, 50% in every direction. So um, basically the, the lens would take one quarter of the, the image size. And let's not darken the foreground image that, that we have. Now you, you may have noticed that uh, the galaxy, the foreground image, it turned a little darker when we hovered it. So we don't want that. And uh, something else, so this was visual stuff. Um, we can deactivate the so-called automatic X-ray. That's what it's called now. Um, that's what it, and it would automatically hover, uh, uh, X-ray on hover. Let's say, we okay, we want to click first before something happens. And maybe you don't want, you don't like that little symbol um, in the uh, lower right corner uh, that, that indicates um, if something is X-rayed or not. Uh, then you can hide it. it doesn't hurt um but that yeah pe people who are visually impaired might might be useful to have it for those um 
Yeah, but let's save it and have a look. So this is how it looks. So it's 75%. So we have 12.5% uh, here, 12.5% here. And you see nothing have it, uh, happens when I hover that and we don't have that symbol down here. But if I click on the page, we will get that really huge lens and we can x-ray that image. Um, yeah, and well, that is um, the concept which is called x-ray. Uh, if you want to check it out right now, you can go to my, my page and we can, first, first of all, I will share the link in the chat maybe so you can check it out right now. Um, yeah, and if you want to use it right now, because I don't know when the HRP core team will have the time to to review it and to include it in the um, original, uh, no, in the HRP hub, uh, you can just click on reuse and download this H5P file and upload it to your system. And if your admin um, didn't prevent you, uh, didn't, uh, no, didn't, uh, doesn't prohibit you uploading stuff, new libraries, then this will install that library and you can use it. Um, yeah, that's how it's done. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Um, oh yeah, future development. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I'm sure that there might be other things that might be useful to have, but um, this is just my framework. So you, this is my part of the work. I do that stuff, but you have to come up with the ideas. So if you have any ideas, let me know.